Hello everyone. Today we're going to do something really, really fun. Uh, we're going to make what I call rice bombs. Okay, so these are called either cherry bombs or they're called ball chilies. And they're spicy, they're hot, but they're not so hot that you can't resist. So we're going to turn these into a nice little um, pre-dinner, an appetizer, or... Um, just a little something that you could put on the side of your dish. You don't want to eat too many of these because they are hot. For someone who uh, doesn't like a lot of heat, um, you don't want to have... Uh, mind you, I can eat a whole bunch of this. Um, but there, it's a nice spice. It's hot, but not hot that you can't resist. So we're going to turn these into some beautiful rice bombs. I'm going to need a spoon to be able to take the, the seeds out. But I don't throw away the seeds. What I do is I put them on... A piece of paper and newspaper and I let them dry and then I add them to my chili mix so you don't want to waste that either now what you do want is some rice I have about maybe seven heaping tablespoons of rice and this is great if you have leftover rice so you don't waste anything uh, to this we are going to put some of my grated cashew cheese which I'm gonna get and how much you want to put is really up to you uh, this also adds salt and flavor, so you got to be careful when you're adding this cheese uh, not to add too much salt because the cheese does have salt in it. And basically it's going to be like a rice and cheese filling, but it's something fun to make if you have people coming over. Not expensive to make, and uh, thanks to my sister, I have a whole bunch of these, so thank you Gabby for sharing all this goodness with me. So we're going to add to this some of my grated cheese. You can use the mozzarella recipe. You can use any recipe you want. And I have about a cup of it. And we're going to mix this in with our rice. And if I need more rice, I will simply add more to it. And we're going to stuff these little guys. And we're going to put them in a cast iron pan. And this is going to be a nice little something to have either uh, before dinner maybe with a little bit of salad or just eat them the way they are if you want to make a whole bunch go ahead and make a whole bunch I can eat dozens of these it doesn't bother me because I love the heat okay so I'm gonna put some black pepper to this very simple guys you don't want to go crazy I mean you can add other things to this if you want uh, if you want to put bits of seitan you can I would say just leave it as simple as possible. All you want is some herbs, some cheese, and some rice, and that's what we're gonna we're gonna stuff them with. Here we go. I'm gonna put about one tablespoon of pesto. This is uh, the pesto I make because you know if you buy pesto at the store, you really um, it has other ingredients like cheese. So when I make my pesto, I put my own cheese in it. And it becomes a vegan pesto. Maybe just a little extra. Let me see. Yeah, just a little extra. About two tablespoons. But again, play it by ear. If you don't want to use pesto, maybe you'd like to use some parsley. That is really up to you. And we're just going to give this another toss. Yeah, maybe a little extra rice. Now, if there's too much rice, if I overseas, if I overdress the rice. It's not a problem. Just pop it in your mouth. But this should be good. Okay. So, what you're going to do is... I should get my pan ready. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to cut off like a hat. Like this. And you want to take all these seeds out. So, you're going to need a little spoon not to poke a hole in it. And like I said, do not throw away the seeds because these seeds are great. You let them dry. Not only can you try and plant, which I did, uh, plant some to uh, grow indoors over the winter. But if you put these on some newspaper and just let them dry out, you can simply break it apart and throw it in your chili, in your chili jar. If there's a little bit of... Um, seeds inside it doesn't matter uh, it just will add to the heat so I'm gonna get a small spoon here we go and we're just gonna fill these little guys up like this 
and we made ourselves a little bit of rice bombs. You don't want to overfill them uh, because you want to be able to close them up as much as you can this way. And I'm going to continue. I'm just going to lay this aside and continue filling these guys up. Like I said, simple, simple, simple. This is great if you have some uh, leftover rice. All you need is a little bit of grated cheese. And now if you can't handle the heat, you say, oh Connie, this is great, but I really cannot eat those. Those are very hot. Then you know what? Uh, don't, um, don't use the hot peppers. Just use those tiny little peppers that I usually use, those little sweet peppers. And those are gonna be perfect. See, there you go. You wanna be able to close it on top. Get it back to where it was, which, there we go. Uh, if they're too hot for you, then like I said, uh, use the small uh, sweet peppers that you can get. Uh, usually they come in a bag and they're not expensive. Sometimes you get them for 99 cents a bag. Sometimes when they're a little more expensive, you're paying, um, you'll probably be paying something like uh, two, three dollars for a bag. So there's, those aren't so bad. So you could actually uh, fill those peppers too. And it's another fun, there we go. Fun thing you could do if you can't handle these ones that are hot. But if you like the heat, I say go ahead and make these. Simple and delicious. Maybe a little extra rice. Rice is some oops. rice is something that I always have handy at home. And I'll tell you why I have it, because you can make so many things with rice. For instance, I make my cheese with rice. Uh, if I'm in a hurry and I don't have time to make uh, dinner, uh, a little bit of steamed rice with uh, maybe some pasta sauce if you have that left over. Just throw it on top of that, it's perfect. Or just fry up some red peppers and just put that on top of your your rice. So if you have rice in the house, it's a very big, it's a great staple to have ready and handy so you don't have to worry about making it. Mine is hot because I just made a new batch. But if you go into my fridge, especially my husband, he loves rice with pasta sauce. This knife is not cutting. So there you go. Nice little fun hors d'oeuvre or anti-pasta. Anti-pasta, I guess you could call it. If you could put this in an anti-pasta plate. You have people coming over. Just a little something fun to try. Okay. There we go. If you find that they're not staying in place while you're cooking it, you can simply just put in a toothpick. It's going to hold it up and then you can remove it before you serve it. You won't even know there was a toothpick there. Oh, my cheese is melting, but that's okay. So I know it's not much of a schmancy schmancy recipe but it's something fun something that you can consider especially if you're having people coming over uh, it's a fun it's a fun dish to make something for them to try we don't want to overstuff them well remember you can use the toothpick if you need to and it looks like I didn't even need to add that much rice I would have had more than enough. So I'm going to keep cleaning these and filling them and then I'm going to put them in a cast iron pan and I'm going to show you how fun this dish is and how you can serve it when you have people coming over. Remember do not overstuff. You want that lid to stay on top. And remember, like I said, if it doesn't stay on top, simply just jam a toothpick 
and it'll hold it in place for you until until it's cooked tiny little cherry bombs I call them rice bombs I'm just going to push this aside for now. Mm -hmm. oh, my daughter made me some beautiful chocolate and chaga. Medicinal and delicious. I'm not going to waste these hot pepper seeds. I'm going to put them right in there. We don't mind that extra heat. Mm -hmm. And another hint, if you don't have enough peppers to fill your pan and your uh, and you've got too much big gap get a little bit of aluminum paper and just fill the empty space and it's going to be fine there we go and this way your peppers won't topple over always fun to have if you have these in the fridge it's just fun to have Okay, I'm just going to put these aside for now and fill up a little more. And what I also did with these peppers is I made um, I made peppers under oil. And maybe I might show you how I do that in another video. Very simple. So how simple is this recipe, guys? Now, like I said, if you don't like the heat, get yourself those tiny little, uh, get yourself those tiny little peppers, the sweet ones, and you can fill those, and they'll be just as nice to serve to your guests. And I think these have that perfect heat. It's hot, but it's not hot that you can't handle. And for someone who likes to eat hot like I do, these aren't hot at all. This has a nice little, little nip. Perfect. The cheesier this one is, the better it is. You want to have rice, but you want to have more cheese than rice. Unfortunately, I added too much rice to this batch, but they're still going to be good. But, so the good thing about this is that not only are you making yourself a nice little either entree or oh, flying my bombs are going off there we go but you're gonna have all those seeds to add to your chili jar once they're dry because if you don't dry them they might go funky on you oh, there's a little funk right there there we go. Just a little, just a little bite. That's all it is, is a little bite. You could also serve one of these on a nice little spread of polenta. There's so many things you could do when you're having people over or uh, just something nice to do for your family. You could serve this on a nice little spoonful of polenta. You can serve this Again, on some rice if you want. Uh, you could put this on some salad. There's so many ways you can present this little bum. And remember, people eat with their eyes. Before they taste it, they're already eating with their eyes. And of course, the food has to be delicious, right? There's room for just one more. And it has this little guy's name on it. it might take a few minutes to get it ready but really doesn't take that long either and there we go I'm just gonna move this away okay so how beautiful they fit perfect in my smaller cast iron and there's uh, basically if you're serving uh, if you're serving guests you want to maybe do one or two per guest 
So uh, you can play it by ear and see how many you need. And if you're uh, just doing it to keep some in the fridge, so whenever you want to have a little bite, if you're having a salad, you can simply uh, take one of these and put it in your, on top of your salad or two of them to put on top of your salad. Depends how much heat you can tolerate. I love heat, so I'm not worried. I could eat the soul tray without even blinking an eye. So, uh, and remember, if you can't handle the heat, forget the cherry bombs. Use those small uh, little sweet peppers that you can buy in a bag. I'm, I don't even know what the names are. They're just tiny little peppers, and you can stuff those, and you can still make a nice presentation for your guests. So, either way, you can't go wrong. And all you're doing is you're filling them with a little bit of steamed rice. I'm using um, medium grain rice. And basically it was just steamed. And I added some of my grated uh, vegan cheese made with, I have a few recipes up so you could go check those. And either you could use uh, my mozzarella recipe or you could use my rice cheese recipe. Or if you don't have any cheese on hand, you could just go to the store and get yourself uh, any kind of grated cheese that they have, not grated, shredded cheese that they have uh, at the store that's vegan. So you can replace and use any cheese you want. Uh, but here it is. Very simple, very delicious. Um, and we're going to put these in the oven and then I'm going to show you how beautiful they look when they're cooked. When putting them in the oven, you might even want to cover them with a little bit of aluminum paper just so that I put these always in high heat. With a 75 to start off with. Oh, sorry, 450. So I'm putting them in at 450 to start off with, but I will have a little bit of aluminum paper sitting right on top like this so they don't scorch on top. And then I'm going to check them uh, in about maybe 30 minutes and see if I have to uncover them because you do want them to be uh, kind of... Um, almost charred a little on top where it looks like it came out of a wood fire oven uh, and it just has a nicer presentation um, but remember guys very easy very simple so I'll see you in a little bit and I'm going to show you what they look like okay sorry here we go um, here are my inners now this is where all the heat is the pepper has heat but this is where the heat is so don't throw this away guys if you want you could plant some of the seeds but what I would do is just let this dry up and then take these seeds and the I'm not sure what the this part is called uh, break it up and just put it in your chili jar and you have extra heat for when you're cooking all you do is take a little bit and sprinkle it on the food you're cooking so do not throw this away uh, this is um, sinful because if you like chili and you're going to the store you're going to be paying for that chili so this is not garbage this is stuff that you can use so i'll see you in a bit so here we go how beautiful are these tiny little bombs that you can serve to your guests so i'm just going to show you a very simple way of serving it if you're going to do this before a meal So you have a little bit of olive oil and balsamic, a little bit of salt. We've got some olives filled with apples. And then we're going to top this with our beautiful, beautiful cherry bombs.
And there you go, guys. This is what you could do if you have people coming over. Just a little something before dinner. Just a little something to present to people when they come over. And really something beautiful. And most of all, it's something delicious. And if you don't want to use salad, you can maybe put some on top of a little bit of polenta. There's so many ways you can serve this. And it's just beautiful and delicious. So I hope you like this recipe, guys. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends. And guess what, guys? I'll see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.